Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Welcome to Elm Creek, episode number six on Farming Simulator 22. Today, we've only got a few things that need to be done, but it's going to turn out big for us. We need to sell this cotton right here. We got like 100,000 liters of it. We need to buy a new farm, and we're going to need to build a tailor shop on that new farm. This is an extra video with a lot of stuff I would generally do off screen, but thought it'd be cool to bring you guys along for the ride. So if you like videos like this or just want to see more Farm Sim 22 stuff in general, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss daily Farm Sim videos here on the channel. No other way, let's get right into it. So here's what we've got. Uh, also, I bought another tractor since the last episode. It was on sale, so I wanted it. We've got 10, that's right, 10 cotton bells right here that need to be sold. We've got them all lined up right here. Get out of here, dear. Oh, I ran through the wall. Huh. Ooh, collectible. Gimme, 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 gimme. Mine. Thank you. Got him. Thousand bucks right there. So we're going to bring everything in here. I think this is the sell point right here. Usually these little trailer tipper things. So I'm going to try and line up all three of these and get it all sold. And then as soon as everything is sold here, I'm going to run around here and we're going to buy the place. I don't think it's too expensive. Check it out, 60 grand, so that's not bad at all. And then we're going to buy a new farm. There's a farm really close by. So I figured that would be perfect. There's a nice flat land there. So we're gonna build a tailor shop on it and it's already got another field ready to be harvested. So we're gonna take it over. I think that'd be a good idea. That's what we're doing today. Let's do it. The interesting part is gonna be getting all of these tractors lined up perfectly to get a triple dump. I've never tried doing something like this with cotton before. And I don't even know if it's a good idea or not, <laughs> but I'm excited to try it. That's for sure. Let's see. I think about like that, something like that. So by the way, now we've got three large tractors and I think we've still got the two small John Deere wells. So we've got like five tractors at this point. Bump around. Let's see. Yeah, we've got a few here. We need to go and reselect all this, but I'm kind of excited about that Massey 8S. It was also for 60% off. And I thought that was way too good to ignore. Had to have it. It was way, way too cheap. So now we've bought all three of these tractors right here on sale. I'm kind of shocked. Normally I would cheat. I mean, obviously I'm cheating in money, but I'm not cheating in like the tractors, which is, <laughs> it is what it is. All right, let's get this turned around. Also, we got this little singular guy right here. I'm going to put it in last because I want to do all three of these all at the same time. Back it around and get it lined up. All right. Moment of truth. Does this even look like it's going to work? I don't... <laughs> I have some severe doubts. I need to rearrange this Massey a little bit. There we go. I think that's about right. Okay. So I can only tab twice and get good. So let's see. Unload bells. Unload bells. Unload bells. Oh boy starting to bounce a little bit okay and then unload here unload here unload here yeah that doesn't seem to be oh no nope. hold up it is working one of them just disappeared um we need to push them to something i don't uh, um I'm only slightly confused right now. One of them did disappear, but the rest of these are just... <laughs> this didn't work. <laughs> Gonna pick these up? I can't. Okay, good. Um, I don't know how to make these sell. Drop it. The one sold, and I'm stuck in here. Uh why why is this doing this so it turns out that this was actually a really bad idea so i went ahead and bought the place just to kind of see what in the world's going on and we did have a couple bells sell as you can see here there's no longer 10 bells hanging out is this dude just standing here yeah he's just standing here like i don't know what's going on here man but i'm waiting on your cotton bro all right let's go over here check this out if we go in here boop boop uh we've got if we go into the correct one down here, uh, you could see 45,000 liters of cotton. We have maxed out the input of the cotton, which, <laughs> which is bad. So we've got all these cotton bells just kind of sitting here doing nothing. 
So I think what I'm gonna have to do is stack them all up on the side and just get them out of the way. And, and that's about the only thing I can do because evidently 45,000 liters of cotton was a little bit too much. So I'm gonna go through. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Ooh, I don't need those, but I want them. Uh, least items, sure. In here, we've got a bunch of this. Let's just get rid of all of these. And then I've got the cotton thing right here. I wonder what happens if I just get rid of that. Hey, the cotton bell stays. Sweet. Can I pick it up? Awesome. Um, obviously, if you guys are around and you don't have the heavy lift mod, well, you're not going to be heavy lifting. So heads up, that ain't going to work for you. I guess I'm just going to stack them all up here and refill it when it needs to be refilled. Yep. Interestingly, a couple of these bells have actually started to get used. So it was like constantly filling it up, which I don't, I'm not sure how fast this is going to go. But that's pretty cool. The good thing is, at least I did make some money. I made like 300 grand off of cotton. So that was cool. Uh, there's just a lot going on here. Uh, like, for example, this cotton belt, 7,900 liters. There's one over here that's 800 liters. So it took from multiple cotton bales, not just the one. That's kind of cool. Hey, I like that. I think that's neat. And something else I think is neat is cotton bale stacking. I did a good job. Look at me. Yeah. Let's get all this stuff up. So now we need to set this to distributing, but I don't think it's going to distribute yet. Uh, so, okay. Fabric one liter. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Clear my throat. It's not really in the morning. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's take the new Massey. You guys want to see the new farm? Legit. We don't have to go very far. <laughs> it's the next turn on the left. Here it is. This is our new farm. Not yet, though. Of course, we have to buy it. One thing I totally forgot to do. Go ahead and buy that. Here we go. Okay, it's ours now. 216 grand for this area. Now, one thing that I know a lot of you have complained about is the fact that these farms are unusable. You can't... I don't think you could do anything with this farm. There's no opening the doors. Nothing like that. This was one of... Ooh, piece of candy. Got it. Nice. Got it. Nice. But... Like, you've got all these farms. It would be super cool for these to be usable, but they're just not. And we thought for sure they would be after Giant said, you know, hey, we've got multiple multiple farms and multiple areas for you to be able to do multiplayer and players to have their own farms. Well, at least the good thing is they have said that they're going to go back and take a look at these farms and possibly change up a few things. So at least, at the very least, there's that. They're going to be actually taking a look at a few things. So we've got a field right here that could definitely be harvested. Probably going to paint some grass there or plant some grass. I don't know. But this, this is where Taylor shop is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead in here and we're going to take a look at the Taylor shop. So we'll go into construction right there. We'll go to productions, factories. It's in here somewhere. I can't remember exactly which one it is. There it is. Taylor shop. So it's going to cost us $100,000. It says land is not owned by me. Did I buy the wrong farm? Sure did. <laughs> like an idiot. Hold on, hold on. I own the factory on it and it won't let me sell the land. Because I bought the wrong land. Crap. <laughs> Well, I guess we have another field over there now. Anyway, uh, yep, here we go. Now can we do this? I don't think anybody's surprised at this. Let's go in here. Zero factory, Taylor shop. There it is. Okay. So now we can build this. I will say I don't particularly like the fact that it doesn't look right here. But maybe eventually we'll turn this into a small little city and it'll look cool. In the meantime, I think we got to figure out exactly where I want to put this. Let me take a few minutes to figure that out. Not my finest work, but it will indeed work. Next is going to be making it look pretty. Let's go back into construction. We're going to go into landscaping and we need to find, yeah, soften. That is going to do just fine. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. And we're going to attempt to bring some of the land around. Just kind of ease it out a little bit, bring it up to itself. Just kind of make it happy. Now, there's not a lot that we need to do through here. Am I even doing this right? I don't even think I'm doing this right. 
Well, money's going down, so I must be doing something. But I think it's pretty flat-ish overall through there. So that's not too bad. Next, let's get some painting done. So I need to figure out this. I think it's asphalt or... Well, I think that's called concrete where, where we're from. Yeah, let's find out. Yeah, so that's concrete. We're just going to dry... Uh, what do you guys think? <laughs> that was too big. No! Well, I guess it is what it is. That's all gravel. Why don't we try gravel? Yeah, that looks way, way better. So the I guess the end goal through here, I'm just going to delete this entire field, is to put a couple different things down through here and give us an opportunity to I don't know, have some more factories, maybe things that we couldn't do otherwise. Well, now we can be able to do them here on this farm. This is going to be more of a production kind of farm and that type of thing. And uh, I know it's not that flat up through there. Maybe try and flatten that out a little bit. Is this the flatten tool level? Yeah, right here. Let's see if we could do this. Ooh, that is not quite what I was expecting, but I guess it is what it is. I'm going to try and flatten this out a little bit. Maybe we can put a shed up here. Nice and flat. Now let's get ourselves a building. and just want to shed something small. That's not small. <laughs> that is. That's nice. That's a little bit too big. Uh, see, this makes money. 20 bucks an hour. That's not too bad. How about that? <laughs> that's a little bit... That's a little bit large. Actually, quite a few of these are just a little bit too big. I, I like this one. This seems nice. Perfect. Doesn't really match. It is super European. Are there no American sheds in here? Actually, I haven't played with this yet. So there's that, but that is massive. Ah, oh, crap. I placed one down. Demolish. Am I going to get any money? Yeah, half the money back for it, of course. <laughs> no, no sweat there. No sweat. Man, these are all super large. Okay, this one's not bad. Super European, just like everything else. But it's not awful. Let's see if we can get this lined up perfect-ish enough. Maybe like right here. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. We only spent like a bajillion dollars to make it happen. Come over here, up and around. Yeah, this will be good enough. Get some storage right here. Do whatever you need to do. I like that. And then lastly, just come over here and figure out exactly what we need to do. I don't know if I need to rebuy this or just activate it or something. I've never purchased one of these before. That's not what I wanted. That's my dude. There we go. That, that. Take a look. Okay, here we go. So it looks like the clothes are being stored. That's good. But we want all of the other stuff over here. This is probably what we need to do. I'll see 44,995. Not bad. Let's take our cotton fabric or fabric right there. And we don't want to store it. We want to distribute it. So that's going to send it over to the tailor shop. And from there, we can sell it. Enjoy nature. Before I move on to the next thing, this is interesting. You see these rocks everywhere? <laughs> the stones? Um, so when I painted it down and I smoothed it all out, it brought up stones. So I might have to come through here with a rock picker and pick all these up. That's a little silly. It's a little silly indeed. I think the wildlife's liking it at least. You got a bird over there. Got a couple deer. Not too bad. Okay. Let's get kind of everything sorted, relocated over back to the main farm because that's where we're going to be doing our farm build in the next episode. That's still the coolest thing, just to set a tractor and get a job done. It just like, he just goes and does it. I just had all three of the tractors delivered over here. Two of them have already arrived. I think that's so cool. All right, I'm gonna take this up here real quick and we're gonna knock out the sunflower field. There we go. See, told you that was not gonna take very long at all. <laughs> I think it took maybe, what, 20 seconds, 30 seconds to do the whole... Oh, I mean, maybe probably more than that, but it didn't take much. And I tell you what, I'm just... Is that going to fold all the way? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm just going to paint grass on all this. I really don't care to put another field up there. We're already doing good, and I'm already stealing enough crop as it is. So I'm just going to go to construction. I'm going to go over to landscaping and then down to plants. And, and I'm just going to paint grass. I mean, look... It, it's there already, and I could go down and, and do whatever I want. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the, the base painting. So, uh, so, let's see, was it paint, 
grass, forced ground. Yeah, so we need to do this first. This is something that I've seen a lot of people kind of mess up a little bit on. You got to paint grass down first, and then you could paint down growable grass. Uh, this will more or less get rid of the area. So as you can see, we're getting rid of the field and everything. And we can extend this out to the edge just a little bit because I'm also going to paint out there as well. Do, 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 do. Get this done. So there's all that. And then now we can go into plants and now we can do this. And we can just paint in grass and it'll look legit exactly the way it's supposed to. And just look like a big grass field. I think that's cool. I like doing it like this. See, now it just, it just looks like a, a field. It's a grass field. It looks good. I like it. I, I like it a whole lot. I may paint a little bit extra grass down through here. Uh, let's see. Let me try and make the smaller. There we go. I still don't know how to use this without a controller yet. So I'm using like a controller to do stuff. And then I'm also using a mouse to do some of this as well. So we'll, we'll see how good at this I get. Maybe eventually put a fence. This looks good. I think a fence would be nice, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe that's enough for one day. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and uh, make myself go crazy. Okay, cool. I like it. Got a nice field up there. We could always go up there and mow all that if we want to as well. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. And of course, I'm going to bring this over to the oil mill. Why not? <laughs> I'm going to make a lot of money doing it. So it looks like if you see down the bottom right, you've got 61,000 liters of sunflower and we've got 76,000 liters of canola. And as far as oils go, we've got 71 sunflower and we've got 678 canola. Nice. I wonder if it'll put both of them down here or if I have to do something else. Not sure. Interesting. Oh, let's go check on the bakery while we're here. Looks like we're doing good. Yeah, check it out. We got some bread right here. Uh, 45,000 liters of flour. So that's good. <laughs> we got a lot of flour over here. And bread is doing well. We got 48 liters in. Plus, we've got a little bit more right there. We'll take a closer look here just so you guys can see. Tell you, this is like one of the easiest ways to make money is you just take your wheat, your oats, your barley, turn the or sorghum, I believe as well. Take that. Turn it into flour and then take that flour and turn it into bread. As you can see right here, we got plenty of flour over here and it's making bread and it's storing it. And eventually we're going to have to sell this as well. That's not it. There we go. Sell, sell this stuff as well. And as I always say, selling stuff is super easy in Farm Sim uh, 22. All you got to do, go over here, go to the prices. For us, we're going to be looking for bread and we can see the prices right here. Now, grocery, 4500 Ooh, yawn and yawn counter plus one. Show the price fluctuations. As you can see, in January, it's going to be the highest. Right now, we're in August, which is the lowest. So we're actually going to hold that until January, and we should be making, <laughs> if the graph is correct, maybe like $10,000 per thousand liters. It's going to be a bit ridiculous. So this is our farm. It is growing quickly and dramatically. But the equipment is, uh, seems to be outgrowing. Get out of here, deer. There's so many. Why are there so many? <laughs> is there one up there on the road? There is. That's awesome. There's just a bunch of equipment hanging around. I've tried to put the equipment in like all these little places. I mean, shoot, it's a little jittery. I think that's OBS. There's a deer down here. Get out of here. Don't run through my equipment. And it did it anyway. But there's just so much stuff around. It's getting a little bit crowded. I'm trying to get equipment put in places and tie, that kind of thing. But I think I've overutilized every bit of space that I possibly have. So what I'm going to do is in the next episode, we are going to do a farm build. And I'm going to build my farm on one, two, or maybe all of the fields behind us. We're going to buy the land. Uh, there's only, I think, one crop left. There's soybeans. We may wait a day or two for the soybeans to be ready to harvest. I believe we can get those in November. And from there, we'll flatten some land out. We'll put down some extra buildings. Maybe we'll have room for animal pens, things like that. But I would like to take 
all five of these fields right here, these square ones and a little triangle-y one right at the bottom of your screen. And I wanna turn these into our more larger farmyard. I think that'd be really cool. But between now and then, this farm right here is going to have to do. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a little bit of an extra one, not really a planned out let's play. Just wanted to get a little bit of work done, chat with you guys a little bit and do some fun stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel or fun videos here on the channel. With that said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.